for uh, Israeli radio, uh, in which I compared the history of the Jewish people and the history of the Irish people, because there are a tremendous number of similarities between us. Uh, first of all, uh, this uh, very vivid uh, sense of humor, which emerges from a period of a long period of oppression, that you'll find both with the Irish and with the Jews, an ability to laugh at yourself. Uh, which is also very healthy, and that also exists. Let me ask you this. You were the governor of the West Bank, and you had a marvelous record there. And also, you were brought up on the borders of the Civil War in, in the south of Ireland. And what I wanted to ask you was, did that experience, the Irish experience, the conflict in Ireland, did that help you at all in your dealings with the Arab-Israeli problem? <coughs> I would say yes. <clears throat> My parents always said that uh, they came here at the time of the British mandate and went through all the problems that we had uh, with the British uh, colonial authorities at the time and the struggle here. And then we had even struggles within our own community, all of which was uh, evoked memories of what went on in Ireland. I uh, certainly uh, would say that uh, we learned a lot and we learned also what not to do, I would say, uh, because um, we learned the very great importance of sticking together within the community, although at times it wasn't so. <coughs> and uh, also, it became quite clear to us that <coughs> somewhere or other we must reach a compromise with uh, the Arabs. And in fact, the strength of Israel's case all along has been the fact that we were always in favor of compromise, right through, and they were never in favor of compromise. They always wanted 100%. And the net result was that we who favored compromise invariably succeeded, as opposed to them who did not favor compromise. Herzog is a former labor politician. And you sense that his plea in favor of compromise is directed as much at the Jews as at the Arabs. But. If the Arabs did agree to talk, would a Jewish compromise ever include the handing back of the occupied West Bank? In the meantime, the situation continues. And for these young Jews celebrating their bar mitzvahs by the Western Wall in Jerusalem, the only certainty when they leave school is direct entry into the Israeli army. Latvia and Lithuania, Limerick, Belfast, Jerusalem. Coming to Israel, whether to live or merely to visit, in a way completes the long journey begun over a century ago by those early waves of Jewish refugees. The situations in Israel and Ireland are complex, difficult, and different. But it's hard not to feel that that urgent need for compromise applies to both. Perhaps this is a better place than most to pray for it. Belfast Jews whether in Ireland or here in Israel, have in common with their fellow countrymen a sense of place and a wealth of shared experience. Yes, they have had to remain different in order to preserve their immediate community, but they're part of a greater whole. They seem to belong. Perhaps in our part of Ireland, we are all Catholics, Protestants, and Jews, all odd men, not out, but in.